You know, I, th I think you made yourself pretty clear last night. What? No, Aiden, Aiden, Aiden. What? Please, 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 Greenland. hear me out. I want to be totally honest with you. Well, you were. I mean, I asked you a question, and you gave me an answer. No, Aiden, I need to tell you this. After you left the beach, I did go to find Ryan. <sighs> okay. I mean, I figured as much. I, I was worried about him. Especially after the despicable thing that Zach did throwing the ugliest night of Ryan's life back in his face. I, I know Ryan's doing poorly in the memory department, but his time was pretty, pretty damn perfect. I mean, he called right bang smack in the middle of me asking you the big question. I mean, you didn't pick up the phone, but I know you attempted. You're right, I was. I, I thought that he shouldn't be alone. And I thought that I should be the one helping him since I was the one he almost hit. I knew better than anyone where he was at the moment. So what happened? Sit down. I had a suspicion of where he might go. And I found him at the place where he grew up, only there was no building there. There was just an empty lot. Well, you said all along that you and Ryan are on the same wavelength. But I was wrong. But I thought you said you found him. I did, I did, but he didn't want my help. He said he needed to deal with this on his own. So it was a wasted trip then? We just want to come back here and, and what, pick up where you left off? No, 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 it wasn't a waste because I realized that I shouldn't have left you and chased after Ryan. Even if I convinced myself it was for the right reasons. Don't you see, Aiden, this is what I've done my entire life. I chase after people, people who keep running away from me. You don't know, Amy, that I've been thinking a lot about the future, all right? I, I want to be able to be there for you, for you and, and for him. I appreciate that. You seem determined to want to make your life yours again. You know, something had to give. Especially after the last time that we were together. You know, I... I may not be able to remember the last few years of my life, but Emma is still my daughter. I know, and I am so sorry about what I said, about Emma being mine and not yours. That was... It was stupid, and it was a cheap shot. Nah, uh, you were upset. You were frustrated. Yeah, but you are, and you always will be, Emma's father. And I, I always want you to be a part of her life. Well, I want to talk to you about that a little bit. I think being back at that vacant lot put everything in perspective a little bit for me. Like what? Well, I, I don't want you ever have to worry about Emma at all. So I, um, I talked to my accountant, and I set up a trust for her. Thank you. You're welcome. She should be totally taken care of all the way through college and <laughs> probably a little beyond college. Of course, if she wants to go to med school, she might have to take out a paper out. <laughs> well, not just med school. After she's done becoming a doctor, she's obviously going to want to go to law school. You should have heard her debating with Kathy over a doll the other day. It was incredible. Really? She was? It was incredible. Well, maybe she's going to need two paper routes. <laughs> of course, she could probably make a little bit of money off her artwork. I mean, your entire refrigerator is covered with the masterpieces that she's doing. Yeah, there's also the diplomatic corps. She negotiated an extra 30 minutes past her bedtime with you because you're a pushover. I know. I'm such a pushover. Push I know. It's true. What? What is it? What's wrong? It's just, you know, this, this was us. Laughing and, and talking and excited about what the future holds. This was us, you know, pre-amnesia. I just forgot how much I missed that. Hey, I asked you something. What does this have to do with Aiden? Well, okay, you know, you, you hired Aiden to be my bodyguard when I went to L.A. And I told you I didn't need a babysitter and I was not happy about it. And then Aiden tells you about me meeting up with Ryan at the, the hotel bar, and a whole big deal was made out of nothing. And I told you I understood. What else? Well, something else did happen when you were gone. Okay. Aiden got really drunk, and he showed up at Annie's. And I went over there looking for Ryan. See? I did it again. Go on. Well, I couldn't very well leave Aiden over there for, for Annie to take care of. I mean, she already has so much on her plate. So I drove Aiden back over to his office so he can sleep it off upstairs. That's it? Hell, I should have never gone over there looking for Ryan in the first place. 
I promised I wouldn't try to fix him, and I broke my promise. And then Aiden, he shows up drunk, and I try to fix him, too, by taking care of him. But that's what friends do for each other, right? You taught me that. The friends in your life, you got to be there for them when they're in trouble. Reach out to them. But not at the expense of our family. I've chased after people my entire life. Usually for the same reasons. Love, attention. My parents kept leaving me, and so I would run after them. I ran away from so many nannies and boarding schools just to chase stuff from my parents. I, I can't even keep track. And what did you expect would happen like when you caught up with them? Life would be perfect. But it wasn't. It's not a great way to grow up. You'd think I'd have learned, but no. As I grew up and got into guys, I did exactly the same thing. I would fall for the ones that I'd have to chase after. Leo and Ryan are perfect examples. We never had to chase after me. I know. You were always there for me. No questions asked. And that's the problem? Apparently for me it was. I didn't have to chase after you, and I think that's what scared me the most. I was afraid. It was all too easy. Your love, the proposal. I didn't have to jump through any hoops or lie or compete to get you to love me. You just did. That's the way love's supposed to be, I guess. I know that now. I know that now. And I'm not scared anymore. I'm not going to run. Please, Aiden, ask me the question again. Ask me to marry you. Must. I'm not going to turn you down this time. Greenly, greenly, greenly. What am I going to do with you? <laughs> you know, I think you need to be honest with yourself. I don't understand. I mean, it's kind of obvious, but you just can't see it, can you? I mean, you're doing the same thing. You're chasing me now. I mean, you got me back here to this beach. You put on this big spread. So it looks like your, your chase game is right back in play. No, no, that's not true. I'm not chasing anymore. I found the one I want. And he's looking right at me. He's such a beautiful face, I might add. Greenly. I want to be with you, Aiden. I want to get married and spend the rest of my life with you. But you're not getting off easy. You have to propose first. Listen, I realized that my proposal was a little out of the blue, okay? I was rushing you. I asked too soon. You know, and I think it's because... I just felt threatened by Ryan and... and and all this drama has no, been no, going it's, on recently. It's, it's, not, it's not too soon. It wasn't too soon. I just thought if we were married that... You know, that this, this would protect us from all of that. I should have waited. No, no, no. You did the right thing. Your timing was perfect. It was me who screwed up. You loved me, and I didn't trust that. But it's not going to happen again. I promise. I still love you, Greenlee. And I still want you. But I think you were right with what you said the other night. You know, we should wait. I think something's just telling me that we, we both need time. <laughs>